Is it healthy in a democracy for someone with such a wide ownership of the media to enter politics? Me non è normale del tutto, ma io intanto sono uh, un editore eh, diverso dalla maggior parte degli editori. Non ho mai utilizzato i miei media per fare politica e eh, ho sempre rappresentato con la televisione, con i giornali, con i periodici, con i libri, tutte le opinioni che sono presenti nel Paese. Aggiungo anche che ho eh, dichiarato eh, sempre che se dovessi mettermi al servizio del Paese lascerei ogni attività e ogni carica dentro il mio gruppo. L'Italia è un Paese con grandi potenzialità. Se potrà avere un governo esperto, concreto, che possa rilanciare l'economia con poche regole semplici e far funzionare meglio lo Stato, io vedo un futuro positivo, credo che l'Italia possa ritornare al miracolo che già la vide protagonista negli anni 60. Tomorrow, Silvio Berlusconi, the Italian media tycoon, is almost certain to announce that he'll be running in the Italian general election in March. Mr Berlusconi is determined to prevent left-wing parties from winning power, but his attempts to construct a centre-right coalition have failed and he may step into the political arena himself. Mr Berlusconi has already built a media machine and as Lindsay Taylor reports now from Italy, there are allegations that he's using his television networks to promote his own image. For most Italians, few things in life are more important than football. They haven't let political uncertainties put them off their weekly diet. Now even this is a political arena. Entering it, the club's owner, Silvio Berlusconi, who hopes to harness such mass devotion and turn it to electoral advantage. A move, he says, is born out of his frustration with the country's centre-right. Berlusconi sits atop one of the largest media empires in the world. To understand his motivation, we were taken to one of his palatial homes just outside Milan. Who is that? Very pleased Little is known about his policies, but his unpublished political program is, he says, based on the principles of Reagan and Thatcher. In his private studio, to a backdrop of family photographs and surrounded by image makers, Mr. Berlusconi outlined why he should be considered a political leader. Ma io credo che un uomo si misura da quello che ha fatto nella vita e saranno gli elettori a giudicare se quello che io ho fatto può fare pensare a loro che io possa essere un buon leader per il futuro dell'Italia. Mr. Berlusconi's decision to enter the political arena could signal the birth of a new breed of politician. Although one of the richest men in Italy, he's achieved this status while apparently remaining above the corruption and scandals that have tainted the country's political past. Tens of thousands of people live in satellite cities built by Berlusconi. It was here he began his empire, capitalizing on the 70s property boom and installing his own cable TV system. Today, nearly half the television channels Italians watch are his, so is much of what they read. It's led many to conclude that Berlusconi is only entering politics to prevent his empire being broken up should the left win power. Others fear he may use his vast publicity machine, which includes magazines and books, for his own political ends. Indro Montanelli, at 84, one of the country's most respected newspaper men, resigned as editor of a daily owned by the Berlusconi family because of what he saw as the proprietor's interference. D'improvviso, il signor Berlusconi è entrato in politica, ha fondato una specie di partito che non si sa bene che cosa sia, e sebbene ideologicamente si trovi sulle mie stesse posizioni, ha preteso che il giornale diventasse lo strumento del suo partito. Is it healthy in a democracy for someone with such a wide ownership of the media to enter politics? Me non è normale del tutto, ma io intanto sono uh, un editore eh, diverso dalla maggior parte degli editori. Non ho mai utilizzato i miei media per fare politica 
e eh, ho sempre rappresentato con la televisione, con i giornali, con i periodici, con i libri, tutte le opinioni che sono presenti nel Paese. Aggiungo anche che ho eh, dichiarato eh, sempre che se dovessi mettermi al servizio del Paese lascerei ogni attività e ogni carica dentro il mio gruppo. Berlusconi è ancora formalmente per annunciare le sue intenzioni politiche, dando ai partiti fragmenti di centro-right una ultima chance di unire contro la coalizione di destra. Ma il suo movimento Forza Italia, o Come on Italy, echoing the football slogan, ha già iniziato la sua campagna. We shouldn't like to become a big party, we should like to become a big movement. Uh, we are trying to build up some club in every voting district. Giuliano Ferrara presents a nightly comment program on one of Berlusconi's channels. We have been living for 50 years with a big central area, um, always in power, the Christian Democrats and their allies, and no change in power. We need a simpler uh, way of doing uh, politics with the possibility of having uh, a change in power uh, against corruption, uh, against uh, misdemeanors, against uh, everything that is not good in Italy. Quattro, tre, due, uno, fuoco! Like the noon cannon blasting out over Rome, for many here politics have simply been marking time. The old guard of Italian politicians were able to cling to power thanks to a political system which fostered weak government. But despite the mood of change signalled by the introduction of the first-past-the-post voting system, many doubt whether people here are ready for a radical shift to the market-led policies of the right. The natural tendency is versus socialism. Uh, Catholic culture in Italy uh, believe that God uh, should take care of the Italians and that the government is the implementation of this idea. Given that scenario, it will take all Berlusconi's entrepreneurial skills to unite the centre-right around his political goals. Yet despite the warning that Italian politics is a dirty game that could cause him irrevocable damage, he seems determined to enter the fray. L'Italia è un paese con grandi potenzialità. Se potrà avere un governo esperto, concreto, che possa rilanciare l'economia con poche regole semplici e far funzionare meglio lo Stato, io vedo un futuro positivo. Credo che l'Italia possa ritornare al miracolo che già la vide protagonista negli anni 60. E lì è la tragedia. This is the, the real tragedy. He believes to be the, the savior of Italy, you know. A melange uh, between uh, Churchill and the Gaulle. Savior or not, he's already looking like tomorrow's politician. But if the polls are correct and the left alliance maintains its lead, Italy's foremost tycoon may be destined for his first taste of being on the losing side. Lindsay Taylor, Channel 4 News, Italy. And we've just heard that Mr Berlusconi's television network has just announced that he plans to resign as chairman of his media empire tomorrow and formally enter the election campaign.